Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more content at Bailey and Stewart. Today's video is a Hollister activewear review. I buy a lot of Hollister, a lot of Gilly Hicks. I feel like Hollister has completely revamped. Same with Abercrombie. They've stepped up their game and I swear, I can't go on the Hollister app without coming out with a huge order. I had planned to do like a Gilly Hicks Hollister activewear review for a while now, but I just hadn't placed an order yet. And I was on Facebook and then saw a certain product, which immediately I was like, I need. And I was like, you know what? I might as well just add more to my cart for a review. That is what we are gonna be doing. We're gonna be reviewing Gilly Hicks slash Hollister activewear. Is it worth it? We shall see. I will have everything linked down below. So let's just get on into this review. So I wanted to start off with what I'm currently wearing. It's not active wear, but Hollister has my absolute favorite sweatshirts, crews. It is so incredibly soft and comfy. I have quite a lot. Like half of my closet is literally Hollister sweatshirts. And this one said Capri and I was immediately, so I was like, I need this in my car ASAP because I've been to Capri and I didn't get like a sweatshirt or anything that like said Capri, which really bums me out. So when I saw that Hollister had it, I was like, of course I'm adding this to my cart. And it's the oversized fit, which is what I prefer. So if it doesn't say oversized, normally it's going to hit like here even when you size up it just gets wider not longer however with the oversized ones it gets longer um which i prefer i like you know when you're wearing a sweatshirt for it to be a little bit longer and bigger this is a size medium i probably could have even done a large but then the neck hole probably would have been a little bit too big but it says capri southern italy in purple with white font and i didn't have a purple one so it was like oh they also had more, but my cart was getting really expensive, so I had to tell myself to chill out. But I'm definitely going back to get more. It's a soft fleece inside. It is thinner, but it's very, very comfy. I literally live in these. Does the back have anything? I don't even know. Basic back, which I'm here for. But I 10 out of 10 recommend the Hollister sweatshirts. Definitely worth the price, 100%. And even still, I feel like it's a lot more affordable than some like some brands. Like this is probably like 40 something, whereas some brands have like 60, 70 dollar sweatshirts, and the quality is the exact same. So, all right, first we have the what should we do? I'll do the bikers. <laughs> the Gilly Hicks Active Recharge Bike Shorts, seven inch inseam. I got pink and extra small and they are I want to say 34 but I am a Hollister Rewards member but here they are um I do really like the length it stays put really well the fabric is actually quite nice it's very very soft almost velvety feeling I do think it will show sweat 89% recycled polyester 11% elastane. Double lined fabric on the waist. Does not suck me in. No compression, no tummy control at all on the waist. I really like this pink though. Very nice, fun, vibrant pink. But I hate, hate that it has a front seam. I thought we were done with front seams. It's 2024. Why do Lululemon and Hollister and like Airy still do front seams? Like I genuinely like, do people actually still like front seams? I'm a, I can't I can't stand front seams. I literally will not wear it if it has a front seam. I am getting camel toe in this and the seam is kind of digging in and it's a little uncomfortable. Um, so for that, I am returning because I just cannot stand. I don't want to wear this. And again, the waistband is just not compressive at all and it does slide down because of that. But the leg and glute area is compressive because it's double lined fabric so it is thicker it's like this part's compressive but the waistband itself is not so i just am not happy with the fit and then the back is not flattering at all it's like in the negatives <laughs> i can't pull these in my cheeks and normally i like this seam to be low but this is honestly kind of like it maybe it's because i don't know it's, i don't know but it just hits a little bit lower and like kind of like chops my glutes in half and normally that doesn't happen normally i have the opposite where it's like this seems like this is too high and then makes my glutes look even smaller 
but this kind of like chops my glutes not in half but like it doesn't hit at the top of my glutes it hits a little bit under so it is a little uncomfortable and again i can't pull the seams in the cheeks and i feel like if you have longer torso longer glutes this is definitely going to just chop your glutes in half it just i feel like not going to hit at the right spot and it just goes straight so there is no glute contouring which makes sense i mean it's hollister i feel like people who shop hollister are usually younger so they don't like why would they make some booty enhancing shorts so it does make sense to not like be trying to enhance the area but like the front seam come on you could have at least given us no front seam because who wants ct not me so yeah these are definitely a return and i feel like most of hollister gilly hicks active wear like bottoms like leggings and shorts had the front seam um i wanted to try the leggings with the pockets but they were sold out so i only got these biker shorts and definitely makes me not want to try any other bottoms from hollis or gilly hicks just not my cup of tea this is a no it is squat proof though because again it's double lined fabric so it is thick so it passed the sticker test i don't know what it is about brands still doing front seams all of their options had a front seam why are we still doing front seams in 2024? Definitely gonna get camel toe in this. Waistband doesn't really have much compression or tummy control, it's just double lined fabric. Right here is quite snug, but the waistband itself is not. And then the back is not flattering at all. So, yeah. So you can't get the seam in the cheeks. Um, it hits at my belly button, but then the seam right here kind of hits at my hip bone it's thick so i do feel like it is kind of pancaking my glutes like it's compressive on the glutes and legs um this part isn't really digging in too bad it's quite stretchy the seams don't feel uncomfortable material is very very soft i will say i definitely think this is a material that will show sweat all right we're putting in the buff bunny sticker dang it, because it is, again, quite thick, it's like double lined fabric, and it's compressive. Um, but I feel like you can't see the sticker. At least not on standing, so these are squat proof. But when I squat, like, the waistband is just so soft. Like, it's just so big that I'm getting gaping in the back. But again, these are squat proof. Gilly Hicks Active Triangle Top. I got extra small and white, 89% recycled polyester, 11% elastane. So very similar material. The shorts are definitely a little bit softer, but it's still kind of like a soft brushed feel. It's not as slick as some of the other items that I have from here. Triangle Sports Bra, which again, I really liked this one because it was a simple design, but also kind of reminded me of Crop Shop Boutique Stella Bra, which is one of my favorite bras from crop shop boutique say this is a little bit less cleavagey and even though it's white you can't really see the cups through which can't really see the cups through which is really nice because i feel like sometimes or a lot of times white sports bras you can always see the cups through it it's got the thick band down here i would say low to medium support if you are larger up top then yeah it's probably going to be a little bit lower but i feel like it's it's pretty decent for being a cheap polyester bra, like sports bra. Like, the fit is true to size. It was comfy, nothing was digging in. I liked that the straps are adjustable so I could tighten them. The back just looks like that. It stayed put, I issues. I don't feel like anything's falling out. I will be keeping this. I feel like you can't go wrong with having a basic white triangle bra. And it was $32.95 and after my points i paid 24.60 that's a steal and you've got the i don't like their logo though the, their logo is very kitty like it's like this winky face yeah i kind of wish that wasn't right there but at least it's like small in the back <laughs> it's not like it says hollister wrapped around the whole thing <laughs> definitely wouldn't have bought it then here is the triangle sports bra um this is an extra small. I am getting a little bit of like, like you can see the under layer and like where the bra pad is. 
Also, excuse my poorly self-tanned. It's getting a little patchy. But for the most part, like this fits pretty well. I probably could have even done an extra, extra small if I wanted um, to make it a little bit more snug, a little bit more minimal. But I mean, I would definitely do upper body, lower body in this bra. The straps again are adjustable, so it fits pretty well. And this is a thicker part. And then again, you've got the thick elastic band at the bottom, removable cups, and it's not digging in it digging into my armpit but i feel like it still has good coverage it's not too wide so i don't feel like i'm spilling out um it's not as flattering as like the crop shop boutique stella bra but i feel like for hollister activewear it's pretty dang good i would probably rebuy again i think this is definitely a keep for me still lower support but i feel like if you're smaller up top it's Definitely like medium support. And then we have Gilly Hicks Active Boost Tank in the color stone. And I got extra small. And then after the points, it was $26.42. If you're not a Hollister Rewards member, it's going to be $34.95. Removable pads, moisture wicking fabric. Very, very stretchy. Now, this fabric is much slicker than the shorts and the sports bra i just showed these are more soft brushed velvety feel and this one is a slicker performance fabric so i don't think again it is moisture wicking so you don't have to worry about sweat showing and this top reminds me of the buff bunny corset top was that what it was called i feel like it was corset top in stardust but this one fits a lot better um the issue i had with that one again was it was too wide i had gaping no removable cups couldn't adjust the straps so it just they made it wider and then once they made it wider i just couldn't really i just didn't like the fit that much but this one it's not wide nothing's digging in i there's no gaping it does have removable cups these straps are adjustable and i feel like obviously it's not the exact same but i feel like it is kind of similar that like fake faux corset detail it's got the seams under the boobs and then the seams down here for the corset look the neckline is very very flattering i feel in place still lower support like there's no built-in shelf bras just removable cups so i wouldn't really go sprinting in this but i definitely would work out in it hot girl walks you could even dress it up pair it with some shorts for the summer some jeans it's a very versatile top and again the color stone is so dang pretty it's like a grayish cream so it'll pair perfectly with literally anything again straps are adjustable the back looks like this i would definitely say it is true to size got extra small i'm happy with it i don't feel like i need to size up or down it's cropped length so it hits a little bit above my belly button i'm actually really happy with how it fits definitely true to size this is an extra small and it's not too snug but it's still nicely fitted again the straps are adjustable and then it comes to a little slight dip v um and then it's got the faux bones again it reminds me of the sorry the buff bunny top that they had like this in stardust but i feel like this one fits better because the issue i had with that one is i do think they made it a little bit wider which is my issue with a lot of bras and so that one's a little too wide so it kind of digs in my armpit and i get a little bit of gaping in the buff bunny one i am not having that issue at all in this especially because i can adjust the straps and again the detail is quite similar um it's a slicker fabric so better for performance too definitely feel like it wouldn't show sweat whereas the buff bunny one is nubri not that i would work out in that top but i guess on a hot summer day get like some under boob sweat if you're wearing it out um whereas i feel like this one you're going to be fine again it does have removable cups which i really like they're they don't have that in the buff bunny one so i always have to pop my own in there and then the back just looks like this nothing is digging in it's really stretchy so definitely true to size i got the gilly hicks active boost zip up jacket stone extra small and then after my point system it, or rewards it was 3806 now i feel like for a jacket like this that's actually not bad now this isn't like a bbl jacket i feel like for bbl jackets it'd have to be a little bit longer 
like hit at my hip length. I, w I wish this did hit at the hip length because this would be a very good BBL jacket. It's a nice fitted crop jacket. I will definitely be keeping. I am like very, very happy with the fit, the look. It's mock neck, full zip. Doesn't have thumb holes, but the strap, or sorry, but the sleeves fit really nice. Again, very, very stretchy. That slick performance fabric. Moisture wicking, so you don't have to worry about it showing sweat. And then it's kind of got that like faux corset, like seam detail, where it's got the seams under the bust, and then this corset like seams down at the bottom. And it hits, I would say, at my belly button. So again, cropped length, but it's very comfy. Looks super cute with the top. And it is fitted, so I would say true to size. You don't need to size down. And again, I just feel like if this was a little bit longer, you could definitely classify this as a BBL jacket and it would be very, very nice. I am happy with the cropped length though and would definitely repurchase in more colors. I think the quality is matching the price 100%. Yeah, it, again, again, just the color is so beautiful. Like it'll go with so much. I'm really trying to find things to return so I can get some money back because these reviews are getting expensive, but I'm liking everything so far. <laughs> like this jacket is the same material as this top. So it is sweat wick or moisture wicking um that's slick but still soft fabric it's very stretchy and i think paired with this top and the other top that i'm going to show next um so cute there isn't thumb holes it's got the seams down here kind of similar to the top the like under under boob seam and then the seams right here which shape really nicely um, I wish I would have liked the matching bottoms, but I really didn't. Again, it had front seam and it was really short. So I just did not grab those. But, oh, or like a tennis score. But luckily this is a nice neutral color that I can pair with literally anything. So I definitely think I'm going to keep this. I do like it and I know it'll go with a lot. And it's quite true to size. It is fitted, um, especially in the arm area, but it's not uncomfortable. If you don't want it too fitted, I would size up then. And again, it is moisture wicking, so I wouldn't worry about sweat showing, or if it does, I feel like it would dry pretty quick. It's full zip. Like, okay, Hollister. And this is what the back looks like. I, I can raise my arms and I feel like it's not being pulled up. The sleeves don't get short. Yeah. Gilly Hicks active, it was called a cap sleeve slay. Gilly Hicks active cap sleeve, sports bra, stone, extra small. And as a rewards member, I paid $22.15. And I'll probably still end up keeping this because I can pair it with so much, but I will say the sleeves are a little too long and they do slide down and off the shoulders, but the look itself is so dang cute. This is the Facebook ad that sold me. I saw it and I was like, I, I need, I need right now. And it reminds me of this set active top that they launched a long time ago. Was it a long? It was, yeah, it was a hot minute ago. And I never snagged that. Um, so I'm glad that they dropped a style like this cheaper. It does have removable cups. And then it's that slicker performance fabric. So it is moisture wicking. Again, the thick band down here is being pulled out and down. So I definitely wouldn't work out in this, even though it's a sports bra. Just extremely low support annoying to have to constantly readjust so the way i'm gonna wear this is either hot girl walks pair with some flares or leggings for again a casual run errands fit or de like jean shorts jeans some booty like pair it's like a cute little summer fit because again this color and even the design is definitely you can pair it more casually if you want and i don't feel like many brands have the like a top like this oh my god both funny doing a top similar to this but with the curved design you don't have issues with straps being too long i feel like you'll be fine there is i don't even know what to call this type of top so it's a square neckline um it's got a thick band down here removable cups 
still a little bit more minimal so it is shorter and then it's got these like cap sleeves is that what they're called they'll say it the sleeves feel a little too long and it, they are like being pulled out and down so i just know it's gonna keep falling off um so that's a little annoying definitely not something i would work out in this is something i'd probably pair with like some flares run errands hot girl walk for summer or even pair with denim shorts some jeans wear it out so for that reason i might keep it because even though it is a little bit annoying to wear it's not like i'm gonna be working out in it so i am gonna keep i just wish that it came a little bit higher up and the sleeves weren't falling down and then the back looks like this active recharge strappy shrug and coral extra small 33.24 i was so excited about this top but i definitely regret not sizing down i got an extra small but even the extra small is a little too big in certain areas but i love the idea you guys know i'm a hoe for a bolero shrug so the fact that they had a built-in one genius and also this color was just so vibrant Perfect for spring and summer. More soft, velvety fabric though, so I do think it would show sweat. It's long sleeve crop with these non-adjustable straps, and then the built-in shrug, which I do get gaping. This again is too long. I wish the straps were adjustable or tighter because it's just not fitting right. When I raise my arms, this lifts, and then this bra can come way too low to the point where things could just fall out not snug at all it does have removable cups but it's just you definitely need to size down in this i definitely want to return or exchange for a smaller size because i'm just i know i'm not going to wear it because it doesn't fit well it does have thumb holes and then the back just looks like this so let's see it was 44.95 so here is this bralette style top with like a built-in shrug i like the idea it's got thumb holes i just definitely should have sized down because this is an extra small and it like this is just quite baggy and then the straps are not adjustable and they're too long so this bra can go much lower and then i'd fall out it's just yeah way too baggy in certain areas i don't really care for how it fits um, but I do really like the look of it. I love this color, so I'm really tempted to re to exchange it for a smaller size. Gaping right here. The sleeves are snug, though. It's like the tightest part. It does have thumb holes. Like this. And again, it's like when I raise my arms, it's lifting up. Material is softer than this. This is definitely a more slick material this one i do feel like would show armpit sweat but again the color is so stinking cute and the concept is cute like a built-in shrug i'm here for it all right and then we have gilly hicks active energize under bus tank pink extra small 2584 okay, so this fabric the more slick fabric is 75 percent nylon and 25 percent elastane and this this one is 76% nylon and 24% elastane. And it's this, I got extra small. I would say it's true to size. You can size up though, because I will say the seams in the armpit area, like right here, are a little tight. And I feel like wearing for a while would get a little uncomfortable. But these straps are adjustable. It hits cropped length. It's kind of like at my belly button and when worn with the matching skirt looks like a seamless one like one piece which i do like again it's got the um kind of like oh my gosh what is scoop the buff bunny bra that had the scoop seam like this it's again just a seam not like actual underwire this is a slicker thinner fabric than this one I definitely prefer this fabric to be honest this one doesn't feel as high quality but the design itself is cute i love pink i wish they would have done it in their vibrant blue because i would have had that blue set then pink because i feel like i'm just getting so much pink lately i need to branch out but again adjustable straps removable cups and then the back just looks like this quite thin the matching skirt got an extra small i definitely wouldn't want to size up because the waistband 
would be literally falling off me because the waistband doesn't have much compression it doesn't feel super snug however i can't size down because the <coughs> underlayer shorts are compressive so this part right here is quite tight which is causing i feel like the waistband to be pulled down because again there's no compression here so the fit just isn't as good as i feel like some of my other Hollister Gilly Hicks skorts. I'm still gonna keep though just because for summer with New Balances I feel like it's such a dang cute easy run errands hot girl walk fit and who doesn't love a pop of pink. Uh, also this material again is same the thinner slicker fabric. The breathable liner and then pockets on one side. Finishes double lined fabric. Skort. I guess maybe it's the material but it clings so I feel like it lays a little weird but it is what it is. I'm still going to keep it because how much did I pay? Um, it's $39.95, but again, I got the rewards member discount. And the back length is pretty decent. Sometimes skorts are way too short, so I do feel like I'm covered. I do feel comfortable. Right here is a little snug, like the seam, so it is kind of digging in, but not terrible. Um, it's a very slick, stretchy performance fabric, and then it's got the seams under here. I do like that the straps are staying put really well. It doesn't feel like they're falling down. The matching score. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I'll probably still keep it though because it is a cute like hot girl walk fit for summer. This is an extra small, and I feel like the waistband isn't as snug as I would expect. Like, there's not much compression, so I do feel like the more I move, like, I have to keep pulling it up. And then again, it's kind of, like, clinging to me because it's, like, a thin spandexy fabric. And then there are shorts underneath, but they are really short. I wish they were a little bit longer. Um, but, hey, at least if the wind's blowing... People aren't going to be able to see anything. It'll just be pink shorts underneath. I like that like the top hits like right at the waistband. So it looks almost like a one piece set. Super cute. And then if you do want the separation, you can kind of like raise it a little bit. They do have this in other colors. Recharge strappy bag dress white blue and i got extra small this was 45.67 so this is the most expensive item say it is super cute and i feel like active wear dresses for the summer are so easy like you just literally need one yeah you don't even have to like plan the outfit you just literally put this on and accessorize so super easy super convenient and this is the soft brushed velvety feel fabric it's v front but this print sold me it was so cute and girly it's these little blue flowers like i'm sorry this is so cute it is more like fitted um so it, i have some where it kind of like goes in and then has like a more like flowy skirt detail so this is definitely a more fitted one than those also the other ones the back laces up more like where you can actually snatch in the waist right here but this one only kind of like you're able to tie it right here so it really doesn't have an effect on the waist which i wish it laced up a little bit lower so you could taper in the waist pair with like a little cropped white cardigan and some sneakers and white scrunch socks such a cute fit and I feel like the length is pretty decent. I don't feel like cheeks are out. Even though, I mean, there is an underlayer, but the underlayer is sheer a little bit. And it does have one pocket, but still, if the wind blows, you're covered. And I feel like it, it looks like an active wear dress, so I don't think anyone would think anything of it being a little bit short. But I just love this print. It's not as fitted in the waist as I would hoped. Like, I normally go for the ones from Hollister that lace up in the back, and I thought this one did. But it just ties right here, whereas the other ones, you can literally cinch. I love activewear dresses for this summer, um, and I just think this print is so cute and girly. It's like these little blue flowers. It's got seams all the way down here, and it is V-front, and again, you can tie the back. This lining is quite sheer. Length, it is quite short, so my mom will probably have a heart attack. <laughs> but I'm gonna still wear it because the wind blows and you're not seeing anything. And I feel like you can kind of tell this is 
an activewear dress, right? Not like some bodycon. I think it's cute. It's a very soft brushed feel. So that is everything for this Hollister Gilly Hicks active wear review. I will have everything linked down below. If you want to see any other review, if you want to see me review any other brands, definitely leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.